Welcome to this CapCut for Beginners tutorial. In this video, we will take a closer look at the clip properties that will allow you to do some really cool things to each of the clips on your timeline. So now I'll just go through all the clips and just see that I only have the parts that I need for the project using this cutting technique. A good rule of thumb is to try and keep your clips around four to eight seconds and then change the angle. Otherwise the viewer will get absolutely bored. So once you're happy with the duration of all your clips, you can try and select an individual clip and then something interesting will happen. You will gain access to the properties of each clip that will allow you to do some pretty hefty modifications. There's actually some pretty advanced stuff available here that you only see in the more expensive paid editors. The quick toolbar on top of the timeline that also changes and will give you some options that are tied to the individual selected clip. If we take a glance at the, the window here or the properties for the clip, you could see that there's actually quite a few things uh, yeah, possible here. You can scale the clip, you can uh, change the position of the clip, you can uh, rotate it if that's something that you're into. There's a lot of options uh, that you can play around with. There's even keyframes that will allow you to perform these operations or modifications to the clip depending on where you are located on the timeline. That's probably a little bit more than uh, you want to digest right now in the process of learning this software. But we can revisit that in a later video if you want that. So let's just use the control set to bring the clip back to its original shape. There's also the possibility to mess around with speed ramping, something that's super, super popular when you are talking drone videos at least, to speed ramp everything into like a fast motion into a certain position. And that's also very, very easy to apply to each individual clip. We simply just press speed here and then maybe we will take like a, yeah, a flash in thingy. You will see now it's modifying the clip. So whoops. So it's doing something like that. You probably also noticed when I selected the clip, a lot of options are becoming available here on the quick tool menu. The first one is the, that you can reverse the clip. You can basically mirror the clip if you want to do that. You can, uh, yeah, very fast uh, rotate it or you can simply crop it in. Let's say that you want to focus on a certain part of uh, the image, maybe this table here. You can just do that. So now we are zoomed in. In this way, you can do some very easy modifications to each clip. The lesson that you just watched is part of a full tutorial that covers end-to-end -end the workflow from you importing the footage, exporting it into a final video. If you want to watch the full tutorial in one go, you can access it through this card. Or you can watch the individual topics through the playlist below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.